Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, I know, it's been a while. <laughs> but uh, I think the last thing you guys want to see is me sanding stuff. Unfortunately, that's where we are in this project. Um, just trying to get everything fitting, sand it down, get it uh, prepped for, you know, hopefully painting really soon. So anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at what's going on. Uh, my buddy Remus is back. He's, uh, say hi, Remus. Say hi. Can you say hi? Hi, Remus. <laughs> Let's go take a look. Yeah, do you approve? Okay. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, this hood has just been the bane of my existence. Um, but I think we finally got it tamed. As you can see, I've got some marks on here where the panels are kind of make their transitions um, between different angles. And so I've started all of that process. Uh, one of the big problems that I ran across, you remember I put those uh, uh, nuts in there and tried to bond them in? That went absolutely poorly. Uh, they broke out almost immediately. And so what I did was I went ahead and I got some of this uh, plate steel that I have um, there and I cut out some plates and then I put some inserts in there and uh, then I uh, did some uh, tiger um, hair over the top of that or kitty hair whatever you want to call it uh, that way they're kind of bonded in so you can see there, that's where I bonded those plates in. And they're all bonded in there. And now it makes a nice strong uh, attachment point for the hinges. And also allows us to have the hood go on here nice. And then when it's locked down, you get great reveal. Um, still got to work on the lines a little bit, but you know, that's going to be down the road. We got. This guy basically roughed in, um, sanded down on the outside, put the dura glass where we wanted the dura glass where we're having some little issues like this. Um, having to uh, build up some areas where we we're having uh, a few issues. Um, and then moving on to the door. So I decided to start on the driver door and we're just getting some uh, skim coat on there and starting to sand it back and block it off and then starting to work on this area over here got a little bit of uh, dura glass with some long strand fiber in it uh, to kind of sure this up because it's it's a little a little bit of flappy in the breeze but now it's a lot stronger than it was um, and then we're going to move on to uh, this rear quarter uh, if you remember, Dario already did this most of this rear quarter here, so I have something to go on. Basically, gonna try to mimic that. The other thing is the engine cover. So we got this basically um, set up with uh, the proper gas shocks, and so now it can hold it open properly. Um, so engine bay there and you can see the kind of the mock-up of the uh, v12 uh, piece i haven't decided whether i'm going to leave that in there or not um, i'll probably cover it in carbon fiber if i do um, but i don't know we'll see we'll see how i feel about it once i get it all together but we still have a lot of body work to do so um, i got a lot of time to decide so I've done a bunch of sanding and stuff. Again, don't want to bore you guys with the details. Um, one of the things that's been bugging me is this. So you can see where basically it comes out like this and then it swoops in. And if you look, I'll show you the actual SVJ.
So from there, you can see that this line should be basically a straight shot to the front of the door. And it's not. And it's just been bugging me to no end. So I'm going to fix it. So how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to lay down a line that's nice and straight. And then I'm going to cut the door and the quarter and we're going to bring them in. And then I'll refiberglass everything back together. So basically that way we have a straight shot line to that curve um, down there on the corner. So we're going to basically cut the corner off. So what I did on this side was I laid a straight line and you can see that Basically what I did, did was I cut out the door pieces there and here and I'm pulling the structure in. I'm going to fasten it uh, with uh, screws to the skin here um, and then we're going to fiberglass over it and basically do the same here. I'm going to bring this area in and then that way we'll have a really nice transition that'll be just like the real car. The other thing we have to do is we have to uh, make sure that it doesn't have a hump like this. So got to have pretty much a straight line. So I may have to cut this area and lower it down a little bit. Anyway, uh, let's get to work and see what we can do. Okay, guys, after a lot of gnashing of teeth, and cutting I've ended up in a better spot just to show you I'm over here you see that big bulge coming out right there that probably gives it a little bit better come over here same profile yeah now you can see a lot straighter ah much happier with that hey let me know what you guys think. Um, I think it was worth a day of pain and now I just have to go back and fiberglass it all back together um, and then do the other side. Sorry as these are getting spread out uh, a little bit. But again, I'm sanding. Um, I was gonna do something major so I decided to go ahead and show you guys where we got on the sanding rather than showing you sanding. Um, and then uh, basically, you know, fixing a major issue that was just bugging the hell out of me. So um, I'm much happier with that. As you can see, the line is much better. Um, and you can see that from the OEM picture that I showed you. Anyway, guys, like and subscribe helps us out immensely. Um, also, comments, feedback, I love them. I read them all. So see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>